This video will cover the topic, solving a rational equation that simplifies to linear, denominator x plus a. What's a rational equation? A rational equation contains at least one rational expression, and a rational expression is a fraction with a polynomial in the numerator and in the denominator. Let's look at an example problem. Solve the rational equation for v. We start by multiplying both sides of our equation by the denominator v minus 3. Why do we do this? That's a great question. We cannot solve for v if it is in the denominator, so we multiply both sides of the equation by v minus 3 to eliminate it from the denominator. We now have 4 times v minus 3 equals 7. Using distributive property, we multiply the terms inside the parentheses by the term outside the parentheses. This results in 4v minus 12 equals 7. Now, we need v to be on one side of the equation by itself. We do this by adding 12 to both sides of the equation, which results in 4v equals 19. Our final step is to divide both sides by the coefficient of v, which is 4. And our final answer is v equals 19 over 4. Let's do one more example. Solve the rational equation for u. Our first step is to multiply both sides by the denominator. So what are we going to multiply both sides by? We'd multiply by u minus 8, right? Yeah, that's right. And after we multiply, we are left with negative 8 equals negative 6 times u minus 8. Now, using distributive property to multiply the terms inside the parentheses by the term outside the parentheses results in negative 8 equals negative 6u plus 48. What should we do next? We need to isolate u to one side of the equation, so we'd subtract 48 from both sides of the equation. Yeah, I think you're getting the hang of it. We now have negative 56 equals negative 6u. Our next step is to divide both sides by negative 6, and we are left with u equals 56 over 6. Now we simplify the expression by dividing by 2 over 2, which is equivalent to dividing by 1, and we have a final answer of 28 divided by 3. Okay, so I think I understand, but let me summarize just to make sure. We start by multiplying both sides by the denominator that has the variable we're solving for. Next, we make sure that the variable is all by itself on one side of the equation. Finally, we divide by the coefficient of that variable and simplify our answer if possible. You got it!